We woke up late and came up here late and still we, we pulled, pulled it off. We pulled it off and then there goes yeah. the pulled it real well. Uh, Malamiaki was doing some stunts where he was showing style while he's in the air because sometimes you want to show style um, instead of like doing gnarly stuff. Fuck yeah, Tahoe. I know who stole my shot. Dude.
town Čekao na katalogi kibi u otvoraši šiš. Aho, te moja MS100. Ima taj na ovaj put, ne maja tut. E, e. If you look really close in the lens, you can see the last shot that we filmed. Are you serious? Yeah, you have to get like really close to it. You can see, it's weird, like it just replays in there um, forever. Oh, that hurts my heart. Can you see it? Like, I can see myself. Can you see the last shot we filmed? Oh yeah, oh my god, that's insane. Identification, please. You related to Andre Olson? No? no. How about Slava? No. No. Should I be here? I don't know. He's got the same last name. What's your middle name, John? I don't have one. If you come again, you'll be arrested for trespassing. Hit into the stage. 
I'm Sierra Makinen. I like rock climbing, jumping off cliff, big cliffs. It's basically getting gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Thank you, buddy. Good to see you. Mission, what a mission. A mission, what a mission. Funny how time flies. Waking oh. up together. Funny how time get it? flies. How was it, Yusuf? You love it. Together, running these rhythms straight down to the bone. Where do you fit in the rhythm? Choking on the time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so today um, we get we get uh, botched off the mountain because of politics. We can't go on the mountain and build a jump because um, insurance reasons and 9/11, 9/11 supposedly. So we finagled a, uh, a ghetto possibility and here we have a mailbox, a rickety old mailbox on top of gas pumps. And hopefully we can get a shot. Three days and we're almost done. We're doing alright man, it's taking a while to get this stuff figured out. What we do, gotta do is get the mailbox, it's cockeyed. This is a funny little ghetto setup we got going here. It's gonna be fun. 
Travis, uh, he boards pro and he's, he's a pro boarder. Hope it'll work out, man. We're just, we're here, we're trying to, trying to get something. Oh. Yeah. You know what? I te you know earlier I was pissed that the Euros weren't here, but now, now I'm so glad. We got some shots. I got two shots. I got a frontside bore slide and a, and a nose press, frontside nose press, and then uh, and the Euros, the Euros can suck my ass. Hi, I'm Kyle Gary, production manager at Robot Food. Today we're going to be giving you a behind the scenes look at the creation of Afterbang. Hi, my name is Jerry Packwood. I am the stunt double. What we're doing right now is uh, Jerry over there is going to do a, a maneuver down this handrail um, that we animated. And uh, his motion we get through the sensors on his body. Maybe you can. You can uh... the, the white things are the sensors. Um, those transmit all the motion he does, everything, part of his body, 
and it's gonna go in the computer right to my, to here, and we're gonna see how he did. We're gonna see his exact uh, motion and every movement and in, in, in this part. Think up. Okay, so I'm going down the bent bar, right? Going yeah. down the bent bar, I'm going at it switch. Yes, that's correct. Switch, you go down, I go down the bent part, get a little flex with my knees. I've done, I've done this, libreros like this similarly. Yeah. And then I go and then I shoot it over here, and then I go to back. Like no, that, no, right? no, so, no, no, no. No, no, you're going to come out right when um, you want to trip, you want to. The last time I, someone told me that Vila was in here and he said that I had bad style. No, well, this is an indie. This is a mute. I don't know, I, I, I get confused by this always. We, we have such troubles doing this. Gary? I don't understand why they think that style is such a big deal. Don't ask me. I, 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 work, all, I Gary, work all day in front of this. You, I'm, you can just I'm over this. always recreate it on the computer. We can yeah, tweak it. We can tweak it. Yeah, of course we can tweak it, but... Okay. Take nine. That was kind of nice, good. Jerry. Sweet work, dude. Thanks. Hey, did we get that one, David? Yeah, we did. Looks Sweet. looks good. Spencer's are really giving us some trouble. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Yeah, I'm sitting here with uh, Bjorn Svensson. He's our uh, graphics director. And uh, what we're doing here is after the animation, we uh, adjust the height of each trick and uh, each air. So um, uh, this is the original we have right here. We're going to probably, what do you think, Bjorn? We put it up to... I think it'd be somewhere around here. Like probably here. Huh? More right. More right, okay. I think here, even lower, that's... Okay. That's probably fine. Yeah. Do you want to try that out? Okay. okay. Yeah, not bad. No, we should leave it like that. What do you think, Tom? Mm, it looks a lot better. <laughs> Makes things easier. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's okay. We can be pretty satisfied with that. You think Vila would be satisfied? If he was real, yeah. I imagine kids probably think he's real. <laughs> that's crazy. That's the scary part about our job, that there's people out there that think that Vila is real. That's that's where it gets kind of scary, I think. But I mean, you know, we we deliver the action, and that's what people want. So I guess that's that's okay.
be so damn tough. <laughs> I said a cop, so robot's coming after me. So it's kind of hard because there's there's not a lot of snow at some rails so kind of need to find some new creative ways to uh, get into the rails. Well, sometimes there's no speed in the rails. Yeah, there's no speed in the rails so we have to kind of find new ways to get speed for it. On the outskirts of a town I've lost all meaning Nice! Baby! You guys, you guys not stand there right now?
What are you? Hey, I'm Chris Inglesman, and this is my video part. My friend Don, she was the one that turned me on to uh, La Tigre, this band, and when I heard the song Decepticon, I was stoked. I totally knew I wanted to use it for my part. Coming down this line right here, got a little thrown off by hitting that rock right there. It kind of pitched me, but made for a really fun ride. Oh yeah, gotta love the powder. My friend Jared and I built this double kick rail. So much fun. Right here to the simple front side. And you get the half cap 50 50, the backside 180. The trick right there that ended the day was the backside 180. Switch 50 50 to switch front side down it. So much fun. I love hitting that rail. This kicker right here I found early in the season. I was so excited. I had to talk Nate Christensen into going out shoveling an entire day just to get the kicker ready, but it has this like, perfect kick, it's long, it's huge, it's got a sweet landing, so much fun. On this rail I wanted to get this trick so bad I knew I could do it, and just time was running thin, Forgash was there, being Forgash, and then the cop showed up before I got the shot, I was so mad, but luckily the cop took off before we fully broke everything down and I was able to get it afterwards. This rail is pretty funny. You know, we were filming on a Sunday and there was a bunch of kids skateboarding in the front of the school and all of a sudden they come running around the side of the building and uh, a cop car comes following them, driving in the street right back there. And uh, all of a sudden the cop like comes upon us filming on this rail and it was a pretty funny incident. Uh, Would have sucked if we got kicked out before the shots were done. You gotta love these days when it's just black and dark and it's kind of stormy but there's powder and you're just out having a good time. That's what snowboarding is all about. This S rail we were hitting in between the slope style runs at Vail. Luckily Blotto had his camera turned down and captured it. Oh, not a good sight. Man. Had to take a week off from that. This road gap is pretty big, it's pretty fun, it's crazy though, every time you hit it you got butterflies in your stomach, you're just like, I don't know man, I don't want to mess up. It's not only because of the height and the distance, but when we were hitting this there was only about a foot and a half of snow on the landing, so you had to totally land on your feet. Cut, that's it.
Let him go. He was just like, oh. Das ist wirklich ernstes Nehmen, das Ziel. Man kann aus der Luft kaum feststellen, ob jetzt das Gamionette, ob das Zivilisten sind oder ob das wirklich äh, Militär sind. In dem Sinn nutzt den Amerikaner die Luft überlegen. Nach der PDS mit Gregor Gysi. Gysi hat ja sehr erstaunliche Sympathien, vor allen Dingen natürlich in Ostberlin, aber er fasziniert auch viele Westberliner. Nur diese Sympathien für Gysi werden nicht automatisch auf die PDS übertragen. Das heißt, die PDS wird nicht an die 20 Prozent herankommen, wie es mal ausgesehen hat. Sie dürfte in etwa dort liegen, wo sie beim letzten Mal gelegen hat, also zwischen 17 und 18 Prozent. Manfred Göllner, Chef des Meinungsforschungsinstituts Forsa. Besser informiert. Einfach SWR 3. <lacht> oh, the rich kid. This is old. Is anyone home? Uh-oh. This sucks. Can't get across. There's a force field. Force field. Oh, force field. Oh, is he force to fear? Oh no. He's watching 411 video magazine. We're like in Europe and they're like doing the talk, like exactly how they always said it. Suck here. have to talk to the camera. We're hiking in the Portland, Oregon, Oregon coast. Running out with birds.
Thank you.